have to say the whole family together was very happy. And Dad wow. was very happy and very at peace and comfortable and came to me with this daisy in his hand. And when that happened, then um, I asked my mom and I asked the family, sisters and stuff, if a daisy meant anything to them because it didn't mean anything to me. And uh-huh. it didn't mean anything to anybody. And about two weeks later, they have those stupid weird tests that you take in Facebook and what flower are you? Uh, right. And, I and you're a daisy. I was a daisy. Oh, my gosh. And he came and, and brought me a daisy, I guess, to let me know that, you know, that I was with him. I was the one that was with him and helped him through Passover and talked with him. Right, when right. Oh, my but gosh. Was, yeah, was, well, he was reminding you of that with your uh, little questionnaire on the on the uh, Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh, that's well, wonderful. I thought I would tell you that because I, that was when you were saying that. It was very interesting. That was my first thing I was thinking. Did you see how old he was? What did he look like? Oh, he yes, was? absolutely. It was just a few, oh, maybe five seconds. Uh, and yes, indeed, he looked uh, healthy. Uh, he stood straight and tall, and uh, yeah, he looked to be in his thirties. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it so, is. Now that he was able to come to you, and it didn't freak you totally out, if he's never done it before, and it, it didn't, he may do it. He may come again now that he knows that it's okay with you. Right. Oh, yeah, no, it wouldn't freak me out because I'm a believer. <laughs> yeah. So I was just, you know, surprised and, and pleased and all, all those kinds of things. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. We'll have to call you Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. It's, it's fun to hear somebody else have this. So it kind of gives me confirmation of what I saw hearing you tell me. Oh, you know, I wasn't going I wasn't going to say anything cuz that just happened this morning. Uh I wasn't wow. going to say anything, but but then my big mouth opened up and and I just felt I had to. So, I I probably had to tell you. <laughs> we probably needed to hear that and now uh-huh. you're ready now you'll be ready to see more the next time. Right, right. Maybe even be ready to talk to him and ask him questions. So it's possible. It's yeah, possible. it's possible. I mean, I'm sure in time, you know, that will happen. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, thank you for sharing. Oh, well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> we learn from each other. Yeah, well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Elizabeth brought us all together. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here. That's right. That's all right. right. Okay. Let's meditate. Wow, that was a lovely conversation. I enjoyed listening to you, too. Well, good. And like I said, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. All right. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Same thing around. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to switch to, I was wondering if Lily's here. Lily, are you there? I see you on the moderator line. I'm here. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if anybody else wants to come in. Can, can you take the helm? I'm going to I'm going to take this phone, and I got my other phone. I'm going to play the meditation on, and I'm just going to let it play. If you guys want to stay, it's like an hour long. If not, can, after it stops playing, can you just stop the recording? You can say something if you want at the end of the thing. Okay. Would that be okay? Do you have an hour? Yeah. <laughs> You sure? If not, I'll just play 15 minutes of it. We can shut it off. It's up to you. Yeah, well, I, um, I'm i probably going to be cooking dinner. Well, that's okay. You can just mute out and listen to it play while you're cooking. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I don't remember how to... Star 9. Okay, thanks. You push star 9, and it says to stop the recording, push 1, and then you just push 1. Okay. Star 9. Yeah. I can do that. Cool. My, hey, my, that it sounded interesting the astrologer guy with teal 
Oh, that summed the whole show up of what we had the information before, too. It, yeah, it, it did. It's tying everything together. And then look, look at the flowers. Aren't we blooming? <laughs> Daisy? Oh, <laughs> Lily? Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess my flowers, my birthday one, my mom used to make, uh, I couldn't remember them, and I remember them just the other day. Oh, God, they grow on a long stem, and they look like, my mom used to take them off and then put take one of the little seeds and put a toothpick through, turn the flower upside down, put a toothpick in the bud there, and she put them in water, a punch bowl water, and they look like little ballerinas dancing around. Uh, what are they called now? Darn. Anybody know? Uh, Snapdragons? No. They're like, it looks like a skirt, a ballerina skirt, upside down. They're on a long, Huh? Petunias? Hollyhocks. Holly I'm a hollyhock. Holly you guys know what hollyhocks are? Yes. I used, yes, I used to grow them. I love them. Yeah. They always do it on country yard fence when I was a child. Hollyhocks, yes. Makes yeah. me think of the, of the 1950s and <laughs> that everybody had hollyhocks. They must have been an easy flower to grow back then. Or they didn't maybe have many different ones. Right. Like that must was have been. a big thing with hollyhocks. They probably grew them in their garden. Like, we don't have a lot of gardens nowadays. You know, my grandma used to put flowers in her garden all around the periphery. And maybe they kept things out of the garden, which is, I grew a garden this year. And cool. the little animals, we never seen some of the animals, even living in the country that we had around our garden that did find my garden. <laughs> Oh my they goodness. loved it too. Mm-hmm. We had bites out of our uh, squash and such. We had one squash. They ate half a squash. I said, "Well, certainly glad somebody got full." <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yep. That's right. We're going into that, loving all the animals too. Mm-hmm. Back to love. You know, now that you say that, we put out a um, a uh, hummingbird feeder. You know the hummingbird stuff. Uh-huh. on the deck, and these hummingbirds, I'm not so sure that one of them isn't my husband's mother that passed <laughs> on. And I wouldn't one, put it, I, that's possible. I'll think the possible. Well, this one little hummingbird watches him and comes close to him and just gets really close and looks at him. And one day I had him out on the deck, I was cutting his hair, and that little hummingbird was so concerned she had to fly around him on the inside, which was like closer to the house. So she flew around that side of him and just fluttered there like, what are you doing to him? Checking this all out is just interesting to watch them. And they just come right, one of them comes almost right up to him and just flutters their little wings and looks at him. And it's a she and just looks right at him like, I just said to him, it just feels like it's your mother. You should talk to him. (laughs) If you can't, well, we do. We talk, okay. and sometimes they fight with you. These, and especially the girls will fight over this. One guy, one Mister, is really naughty about letting everybody come. And he, the minute he'll leave, he'll sit in the branch. If somebody comes down to drink, he flies right down and gets out. It's funny. Oh. These two girls were fighting, so I, I'm saying to them now, girls, it's not nice to fight. You can both drink. Let's not. Let's not fight about this. I find yeah. myself talking to the birds. <laughs> cool. That's the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Wow. Beautiful story. I love it. Okay. Thank you for sharing. All right. Uh, Lily, are you are you there? I'm here. Okay. I want to. I'm going to unmute my other phone. Let me unmute. Go to the other phone. Hold on. <laughs> She's juggling a couple of phones. <laughs> Did I hear somebody say something? Yeah, no, you're been... juggling a couple of phones. Oh, okay. So I'm on my other phone. Is it, do I sound okay? You sound great. Okay, let me just do a sample and make sure you guys can hear it good. And I'll be... Just hold on there, Lily. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Let's get that up. Hold on. Before. So let's... Say we're gonna. All right, now it's 05, so perfect. Let's come back in five minutes. 
So at 10 minutes after 10, we're going we're gonna to open up again, and uh, Franco's going to start the activation. All right. But we'll see you soon, everybody. Okay. Did you hear her okay? Yes. Okay. Was it? Uh, she on, was here just... like she was right on the call with us. A lot of, like, Teal's was more in the background. Yeah, Claudia. Teal's, her voice is really loud, and then the, or the guy's voice is really loud. Teal's is really low, so I had to keep turning it up and down. And and this is a high-tech phone I got from my son, so maybe that's why, too. But that's um, Claudia. It's, it's Franco with Claudia, right? Yeah, CJ. So she's going to play some course, oh, what's his name, course. So he's a sound healer with the sound. It's, oh, my God, it just really blew me away. I hope it, it's going to play like five minutes of music and then go into Franco's meditation. And then she plays that music for like five minutes at the end. Oh, I hope you don't, I hope you don't go galactic wise, Lily, while you're cooking dinner. Oh. <laughs> hey, I would love it. Yeah. So then at, after that's done, you guys can talk or just end the call or whatever, star nine. And then you know how to un, um, mute the room, yep. star five? Yeah. So I'll mute the room, you guys, in just case somebody comes in and they are unmuted and it ruins it for everybody. Okay. Should I do that for you? Sure. Okay. All right. All callers are muted, so then you have to just push star nine to stop. The, oh, you, you might as well, after the little bit of music, after his meditation, star nine, to, and then so then says press one to stop recording, and then you guys can talk or whatever, unless you want to leave it on, and just don't forget to stop the recording someday, sometime. Right. <laughs> yes, mother, she says. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, oh, okay. Is that you? It's me. All right. Uh, let me just play it. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna check. Don't unmute. Don't mute out yet. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me get this. She's gonna turn the music on. Hold on. Let's get it. <laughs> You hear that? Yes. Ooh. Love you guys. Elizabeth Diamond signing out. Lily taking over. Lily Diamond. And you're all diamonds. Blessings. Yeah. And I'll see you tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern, if you want to come. Otherwise, you can listen to the recording. It's one. Today is 164 reference, and tomorrow is 165, I think. Whatever you find it. Okay, here I go. Thanks, Lily. You're welcome. Today is 165 reference, and tomorrow is 166. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks, guys.
there to bring things concerned about falling asleep. Just allow yourself to just fall. It's not important if you're asleep or awake to it. It's just whatever is necessary beneficial will take place. So just allow yourself to flow with it. Be part of it. So as you go into a very relaxed state, we will also make this recording available on a high quality state uh, for uh, Claudia to share with others. Mm -hmm. uh, even though Great. it's recorded online now, but I will I'm also recording it separately to have a, a higher quality uh, version available for others to use for themselves over and over and to share it with others. Oh, perfect. So as we get into the day, let's bring ourselves into this very comfortable, relaxed state. Just see yourself just allowing every part of us to relax and let go. We all know how that feels. At one time or another or many times in our lives, we just felt that ease coming through us where we just let him go. It goes beyond surrendering because it's not that we surrender to anything. We are just basically allowing ourselves to connect with this beautiful, energetic flow that is our true nature. And letting go all tension, all tightness, and anything that we've embodied within ourselves energetically and also on an experiential level where we felt stressed and so forth. We're just going to let it just release from our body. And to facilitate this time, we're going to use the breath. So we're going to put our attention in the breath. Each breath we take in, feeling the beautiful sensation as it's going in, the air into your body, expanding, energizing, and feeling that beautiful fulfillment state where we are taking in everything that is available for us to facilitate us. As we exhale, we are doing two things. We're letting go all that no longer serves, all the energies that we have taken on, utilized, and that has brought us to exactly the state that we wanted, but now is no longer serving, so we just let it go. Because it doesn't matter if we were stressed or anything else. That served us at one point or another, but now at this point, we don't require it. It's not necess necessary. We just let it flow. We have nothing that we need to hold on to because right now giving us the opportunity to let everything go that no longer serves, we will open ourselves to the opportunity to create everything new using all these new energies that are supportive for us at this junction point of our human experience. And by focusing on the breath, each breath in, feeling that beautiful expansion, each breath out, just allowing us to flow deeper and deeper into this relaxed, open state. You are joining this wave of energy, this very easing energy that lets us feel very natural, very comfortable, very at ease. We're allowing the natural state of ourselves, of play, to come through. And that playfulness is also that childlike essence of us. As much as we see the innocence and the lightness of that child's exuberance and playfulness, we're allowing it to come through in our state that we are now. This new, wiser expanded being that we are. And we're allowing this playfulness, this observer state to come through. And we activate that as, as we see every facet of our experience, everything that we have going now, and we will continue to create and shape and construct as a beautiful opportunity of play of expansion, of growth, of enlightenment. We see ourselves with our natural state that we are, every aspect of existence that is. We are the source of all that is. We are a spectrum of source.
having a human experience. And we are now embodying this new human experience and transforming it fully. We're creating a new human experience that matches closely to the design intent of this series of physicalities, mind, and journey that we embarked on. This may go back in other lives, but we are in this present moment. And in this present moment, we are now bringing ourselves in a position to access all that serves us to move us forward to access all that we have not been able to complete in past lives, and we bring it up to the surface. We bring everything to real time, but we are not seeing it in the same eyes and the same energy and the same consciousness of the original experience. We're seeing it now with this new viewpoint, this new level of consciousness, with this new energy, and with this new experientially rich state that we're in. But we're not only seeing it any longer as an individual, we're seeing it as a collective. And they are in various levels of collective. They're a collective of matching frequencies, a collective of like an expanded frequency as a collective of all the different spectrums of frequency as a collective of planet Earth and all the human embodiment, but as a collective of all our beautiful aspects of self. Going back to our twins, to our soulmates, to our soul families, to our galactic brother sister soul, our universal brother sister souls and as forces. We're seeing all of that right now. We're bringing every part of that to this moment. And we are embracing it all. And we're making this beautiful experience as a transformative state. And by raising our frequency to five, to eight, and beyond, we are now opening our viewpoint to see all of our lower states of experience, lower vibration as a beautiful enhancement and a beautiful path that we've taken. We are not here to reject any of those lower frequencies. We are embracing them all, taking all the beautiful nuggets of consciousness and experience within it and the expansive component in it and utilizing it, internalizing it and using it as part of our expansive state to move on further in our journey. But what we look at now, we are looking at with our new eyes, our new awareness and consciousness, therefore flowing through all of it. We're no longer carrying the dense energies that may have been associated with it at that time. We are now seeing it with a much more fluid, lighter frequency and state of being. And in doing so, we are now tapping into the preparational energies coming in the wave that's coming through to facilitate us to step on the next level. And we're taking those energies that are specifically designed to let go. And we're using it to just let go what no longer serves at this time. We're letting go of all forms of definitions that we have adopted and held so dearly to. We're letting letting go of all definitions that we've taken on originally as temporary and have associated or defined ourselves by it. We're letting go of all the definitions that have been in one way or another projected in our direction. And then we have utilized the one line. 
one point or another. Eli, the definitions are levels of confinement that have created this perfect opportunity for us to grow and learn from. However, now we are no longer holding on to any of it. We're letting go of all of it that no longer serves. It is flowing from us. We let it go. Great love. We let go of all belief systems all level of realism that we have taken on, all the stories that we have adopted, utilized, or taken on from the lineage that we have streamed in from past lives. We no longer look at all the depth of the stories or get ingrained in the stories or lost in the stories. We are just looking at all the beautiful opportunities to learn, grow, and expand, but also the higher consciousness and the enlightenment that is instilled in it. And we take all of that, distill it from all of it, and take it in and expand our soul, expand our beingness, expand our essence. And this expansion is transforming every facet, rewiring, re encoding our bodies, our minds, allowing it all to come through at this time. And we realize these energies, these waves of preparation for we are choosing to flow with life, to embrace every aspect of it with ease, with playfulness, to see every so-called challenge that we have defined in one way or another as another opportunity. But it's a light opportunity, a light opportunity that we take in, embrace, play with, and release instantaneously. We let go of all attachments to the way we thought it needed to be. We let go of all belief systems that we have taken on that no longer serves in one way or another. We let go of all concepts that we have taken on that no longer serves. We let go of the idea that we need to suffer, that life has to be difficult, that we need to compete, that we need to survive, that we need to struggle, that we need to earn, that we need in one way or another to pay a price. We let go of all of that. For none of it has been true, but we have adopted a form of its truth only for a particular experience that we are done with right now. And we let it go. Gently let it flow. Let it go. This is nothing to fear. Because by letting go, we feel the ease coming back into our essence. The ease coming back into our body. The ease and lightness that comes into our mind. The densities that are dissolving and evolving within it. Allowing ourselves to be part of this beautiful wave that's coming through. To ride it, to stand with it. And should we require to finish anything of any density, we now use it to the fullest intensity to do so with lightness and playfulness. As we bring all these beautiful ways to utilize it from our state of being at this point in time, we realize that we are not doing this only alone. We are doing it collectively. We're doing it with all our beautiful brothers and sisters souls. We are doing it on a transformative state of renewal. And we're doing this in ways that we are utilize each other's experience, each other's encodes, each other's frequency to expand our own. But we are also at this time connecting with all there is again. In essence, we've always been connected, but we are now taking down all the barriers, all the restrictions so that we become one with all that is. And oneness 
is connecting with all facets of self in a human form. All facets of the self in nature. All facets of self in all levels of animal kingdom, oceanic kingdom, insect world, and the world of free-flying birds. The connection with the planet, the reptiles, the beautiful energy of Gaia, the planet itself, and the inner planet, and all the beings within the inner planet, and connecting with our galactic essence of all the beautiful planets and all the beings and all the different souls that represent. We're reconnecting with all of it. And while we reconnect, we're expanding our essence. We're expanding ourselves. We play further, grander, and much more fully than we played before in doing so. We no longer see ourselves isolated or separated. We see ourselves as one beautiful mechanism. Beautiful orchestrating its form. Orchestrating its opportunity of growth and expansion. Of becoming grander essence of essence-ness. And that is all. We see the beautiful state that we're in right now. Can we make that as our bookmark, as our foundation? But this foundation is built upon. So we do not stay at that level. We build upon it. It's like any structure we build, any aspects of self we build, we create the foundation and we are now utilizing this new foundation and we build on this foundation and we reach higher and higher levels of this creation to the point of a level that we achieve where we achieve full recognition of who we are. This recognition of who we are is forcedness itself in a much more expanded state than we originally started. We have chosen to be here on this planet. We have chosen to be here specifically at this time. We have chosen to embody a physicality in the form that it is. And the form that it is is not stagnant. The form that it is is not restricted. The form that it is is fluid. The form that it is is it constantly in motion, constantly expanding, constantly flowing, and that is so. And we are choosing to bring forth, dissolve as many veils as we are individually and collectively ready to remove over our soul, over our third eye. We decalcify all that we have created in calcification over our pineal gland and allowing ourselves to access more than we've ever been able to access thus far in this human form. By removing the veil over our soul, as many as we are ready, we are now accessing more of our true essence as source in body in a physical form. Therefore, as source, having a human experience. A human experience that is completely being transformed, rewritten, and redesigned. A human form that is no longer bound by restrictions and limits. A human form that does not have parameters and barriers that it needs to be confined by. 
a human experience that no longer defines itself in the way that it has. A human form that is fluid, expansive, light, playful. A human form that is driven by our true essence as source, what we call soul. Utilizing our super conscious from the soul. Utilizing the super conscious of all other aspects of ourselves on this planet and off planet. Accessing source consciousness and also soul family, core access points and consciousness. A human form that is rewired, reactivated, stimulated, reactivating our DNA reprogramming it through this new state, extending our telomeres, transmitting and receiving much more clearly, becoming the multifaceted being in one form of limitlessness. A human experience that matches no other experience before a human experience that goes to realms and capacities that has never been achieved before. A human experience that reflects a new world that is of our own design, that is designed in a state of expression and essence of our true design and nature. A world that has no restrictions, no has or have not. A world that does not define itself, a world that does not need to be struggled, survived through, or to compete with. A world that does not carry any structure of limits. A world that is allowing us to free flow a world that enhances our human experience, a world that does not long attach to its material state, a world that is harmonious, a world that reflects peace, neutrality, playfulness, ultimate love in its fullest form of expression. A world where we love to be with one another, to play with one another, to be ourselves in a transformative and expansive state moment by moment. A world where we create reality that matches for that moment to experience to the fully, fullest state and move on to the next moment. A world where we no longer monetize anything. A world where we support one another and see ourselves as one another, where we see ourselves as a whole. A world where we enjoy every facet of it without being in a polarized state. A world that no longer reflects right or wrong, good or bad. No longer reflects positive and negative, but reflects all spectrums of it. A world that is no longer connected to the inverted matrix, the superimposed matrix, but is now directly connected to our regional design and upgraded matrix, including each of our physical form. We take the beautiful matrix that we have adopted as the superimposed inverted matrix and we allow it to dissolve. We allow it to become transparent, allowing it to emerge and to merge with our natural, high-vibrating, higher state of being matrix designed to support our work and allowing us all to reconnect 
to the original, now expanded matrix that creates our reality with a certain level of consistency while having a certain level of fluidity and lightness. With no rigidity, a world that is a flowing energy that moves, a world that takes anything of lower vibration, including toxicity and all that we've created as a challenge for us and a challenge in difficultiness in our human experience to transform, to enhance, to complement, and to support us. Therefore, anything that was toxic will change to be conducive, supportive, to match our vibration. A world that is open for us to be ourselves. A world that is open for other facets of ourselves to join us too. A world that will host our old beautiful brother, sister, souls coming from other planets. A world that we embrace all other aspects of ourselves. A world that we are in a state of play. And this is what we are doing at this time. We're creating this world. We're encoding it. We're participating together. We're co-creating them. This is our new foundation. This is our new world. This is our new us. Us encompasses all of us. We're not here any longer to be an isolated experiential. We are a combined collective experiential aspect all having a fragmented spectrum of encodement, but we are a part of the whole. We allow input from all other aspects of ourselves to be complementing, expanding our state. We use our signature to experience our specific experience, our specific path, our specific expansion and growth, our specific path of enlightenment, by utilizing all resources, all vantage points, all viewpoints, all spectrums of frequencies, all vibrational aspects of ourselves. That is all. Right now, we're creating the energetic field within ourselves to create alterations within our body, to create adjustments in any intensities that we have created that no longer serve. We're allowing any experience that no longer serves to to transmute at this time. We're allowing our mind. We're disrupting any patterns that are no longer necessary and beneficial and removing all the encodements and all the energy fields that supported it. We're also releasing all the stories around it. We're allowing ourselves right now to rewire our mind, to bring both the right and left hemisphere of the brain to work as one. But utilizing the right brain for its natural design, to be able to use all forms of input, all levels of higher consciousness, and to create new realities to be expressed and experienced in our human form. It's not the creative of working within the left brain. It is the creative of utilizing other sources. Our right brain is intuitive because it is utilizing all inputs. It is creative in utilizing those inputs to create new realities which are transmitted to our left brain which will project it in our environment and will project it in our form and will create any program stories necessary and beneficial to experience what we are choosing to experience. However, we are doing it with new input, higher consciousness. Therefore, all that we are creating from this moment is new. New and is far-reaching anything that we've created before. And that is so. As we are in this state, we are coming to a point of becoming 
recognizing of self. Recognizing of our being. Recognizing that we are not this physicality. We are not specific gender. We are not our stories. We are not our conditioning. We are not our history. We are not our education. We are not any stories that we've ever taken on. That we've utilized all of it. We've done what was serving for us with it. But we no longer define ourselves by it. And releasing all of that right now, we open ourselves to a larger expanded beingness, sourceness, in a human form that is truly stepping into unlivenness, limitlessness. A human form without limit. A human form that is re-energizing itself, is shifting the priorities to play, to expand, to grow, and to purge and clear. A priority of creating a new, a priority of creating a new beingness. And that is so. There is nothing that we are going to put in its way to stop it. We're letting all of it fully and completely to be. If we ever have been ready, we are ready now. And each time we replay this process. We only expand it further. But this is not for our individual state. This is for our collective state. We are affected individually, but we are affected on all facets of individuality and oneness at the same time. This is where it is very different at this time. We now call forth all the supporting energies, frequencies, and encodements that will serve us at this time to enhance this new experience that we're stepping into to stream through us right now. This will come from source. This will come from our solar system. This will come from our galactic sun. This will come from our new sun that is coming into our energetic field and our projection of our galaxy. Each one is streaming the perfect codes that are necessary and beneficial to create a new world, create a new human experience, to create a new state of consciousness, that matches where we have chosen to be part of, to unfold, to become its essence, and not itself. And on an individual basis right now, we are illuminating ourselves with all these beautiful new energies and as we become this beautiful ball of full spectrum of light that carries all of it, utilizing our state of being and our consciousness that has now shifted to release all that we have taken on that no longer soothes, including in toxicities, including emotional charges, including entities, fragmented souls, older pockets of consciousness, channels, connections, cords, or anything that no longer serves. We are releasing it all right now. 
We are releasing all encodements that have created forms of polarity and intensities, including codes that have created what we have called and defined as illness or disease, in this case, lack of ease. Letting go of all encodements that have created a limited pattern of experience and response. And we do that now. We just let it flow. We have no attachments to any of it. And we let go of all the concept of attachment. The more we let go, the more we flow. The more we let go, the more we have to play with. The more we let go, the more we have. But we have with no attachment. The more we let go of one little pocket of energy, we allow the whole ocean of energy to be part of it. The moment we stop defining ourselves as an individualized drop, we become the ocean in a conscious state. The moment we let go of all that has defined us, we become that wholeness that we are, and that is us. We right now, with one another connected, we create this holding energy that is expanding each moment to be accessed by each and every one of us and each and every one that we share it with to be able to create this transformative state and to enhance our journey in the preparation of all these new ways coming through, in preparation of all these new levels and dimensions that are coming through, in preparation of creating our new world and our new state of human being, completely free, completely expansive, completely aware, activating all our dormant natural states for we can now be in charge of our form, our expression, or in this case, holographic projection to shape our projection to match what we choose to experience, to no longer limit our duration on the planet and allow ourselves to utilize the full encodement of being able to embody one particular physicality in a fluid state up to a thousand years if necessary and beneficial to be able to be in charge of what we've called the aging process, which is only a adopting of certain frequency and changing the holographic experience to match it. Our holographic experience now is becoming real time, much fluid, so fluid in essence at this point in time, allowing ourselves to only experience and project in our hologram what serves us each moment. Therefore, there is no need for the pattern of following an aging process. We can go forward, backward. We can stay still. We can do whatever we choose. And we're reactivating that part. We're activating a few lights, a few a beautiful fluid light body a crystalline state that is allowing ourselves to, to harness all energies that will create whatever we choose to expand not only ourselves but other facets. We've connected ourselves as one. Now we are all one to a new dimension that we've never been able to do before. We never were separated, but we are now connected even much more powerful, much more fluidly. Therefore, whatever we are doing, we do for the whole and the rest. And we have brought ourselves at this point now where we're done with this process at this level. But the process will continue for the next several days and will be stimulated and continue 
and expand each time it's repeated. This is something that is there as a tool to facilitate what we have come to do. But all we've done thus far has prepared us and we are now more ready than ever before to catch the next wave. Our frequency will move to 528 and above where we become the creator essence in an aware state. Where we are much more capable of transforming through love the most powerful creative state there is and that is so. As we are in this moment we are now choosing to step back into the body in a conscious state. We have the option at this time to go into a deep relaxed sleep state and allow this process to continue and to use our etheric state, to use our dream state, to enhance our journey and to create whatever adjustments and completions that are beneficial for each one. Or we choose to go into a fully awakened, vibrant state of play to go out and play our day or to carry on with our day or to just embrace another facet of our day. The choice is ours, depending where we are at this time. I am going to count from one to five. At the count of five, we're going to bring ourselves to the ideal state that we are choosing. In that state, we will come out exactly how we choose. We will reactivate the vibrancy of who we are, no matter which state we are choosing to go into. Sleep or play. And sleep meaning going into the restful, dream, etheric space, even to the opportunity for the soul to re-encode, energize in all other realms. It is yours to choose. But at the count of five, you'll be in that perfect state. You'll be fully enhancing and reflecting and, and, and experiencing to the fullest our natural state we will be in a state of unconditional or ultimate love as creator essence with no limit. In a state of neutrality, playfulness, and lightness. A state of peace and ease. And that is so. One, two, three, at the count of five, bringing ourselves into our ideal state. Enhancing and a full experience in a natural state of ultimate love. Creator essence in its fullest capacity of navigation. Neutrality embracing all spectrum. And peace. While playing and being our true essence. Four, five, we are in our ideal state, emanating all that we choose, and we are the new being ready to embrace our new creation, our new vibratory physical form, our new modified, expanded mind. And off we go to experience the oneness and the individuality in, within the oneness as we choose to do so. And so it is. I say to you with great love, we shall meet again, for we are always connected and we are always in play and we will continue to play and expand and be the ultimate essence that we are in this beautiful human form. Namaste. Good night, everyone. Much, much love.